It is one of the most ambitious school outreach programs going, uh, perhaps the biggest around a single particular engineering challenge. We've been exposed to the scale of blood out. And what we've seen today, compared to 2009 when we were in Bristol, is a huge movement forward. We've been to a primary school. We've seen how they engage students and how excited these kids become about blood out. They all look forward to this and the questions they were asking were very pointed questions. Yeah, what I've been announced today is a further million pounds of government support for Bloodhound. And uh, this is a project that's being supported by many other organisations and individuals as well. But look, this is a great example of British engineering at its very best. And the fact that there are 5,000 schools following this online, using this to get kids interested in science and engineering, is also great value. And that's why we're backing it. I always had an interest in aviation and aviation technology um, and then in 2011 I got the opportunity to come down and do work experience with Bloodhound um, and got shown some amazing technology, met some really um, passionate people and uh, it all just followed on from there, it sparked an interest and it just grew and grew. It's, it's one of those massive projects, a bit like the Apollo space program, just it's so out of you know, normality and it's just so far different from anything else. It's so. When I really started looking into it, the fact that it was going to go a thousand miles an hour, it was some sort of speed that I couldn't even imagine in my mind and I wanted to know how it was going to happen, what it was going to be made of and what was going to go into it and how it, exactly it was going to work to manage this massive feat of speed. It was more the fact that I always wanted to know how I could make things better and all these questions that I found that engineers could answer and said, well, we're not going to sit here and tell you the answer, we're going to tell you to go find the answer. And I always want to find the answer for myself and be practical, so that kind of was a pivotal moment in my career choice. So I've just finished my GCSEs at school, so my next step is a technical apprenticeship at Rolls-Royce, which starts in September, so definitely gone down the engineering route as opposed to marine biology there. For a young lady to say this is how I got drawn into engineering it was amazing and you can see the passion she feels for it. She's committed and she's excited that she's going to be part of the Rolls Royce Academy. That is a singular achievement that not many people would have achieved if it wasn't for the catalytic role blood out plate. And I think that's the kind of excitement we want to see. That's the kind of decision making we want to see amongst young people. Oh my God, <laughs> <laughs>